step four, patient on. So at this point, our machine is primed. There's no air left. It is recirculated, so there's no sterilant left in our dialyzer. We're ready to put our patient on. When they arrive, you'll do your general patient assessment for their overall well-being. You'll inspect their arm along with cannulation and get do everything up to this point to get them ready to put the patient on. The machine segment, once recirculation is complete, you'll take the patient's heparin that belongs in the machine, and we'll talk a little bit more about heparin later. Unscrew the cap of your heparin line, attach your syringe, and at the same time as you unclamp, you'll prime your point two or whatever your facility policy is, reclamp, load your heparin into the syringe holder, and then you pinch this one and put it up. And that keeps tension on the plunger so that it doesn't backfill with blood. So at this point, your heparin is loaded. You are going to stop your blood pump, take your patient blood lines, move your clamps up close, clamp both ends, separate the ends, and remove your recirculation cap, and just put it on top of your machine. You'll need it after treatment. You're then going to unclamp your arterial side and let 200 milliliters of saline flow through. This allows an extra reassurance to make sure that your line is good and clean. Save so that's 200. You're then going to, on your venous side, bring it over the bucket, open it, and then start your blood pump at 250. Again, letting 200 milliliters of saline run through. When it's finished, simultaneously stop your pump and clamp your line. At this point, you'll call a second teammate over. Some clinics it's required to be a nurse. And you'll take your negative presence strip. So we're making sure that there, are no, there is no renalin left in these lines. And you'll squeeze the venous line right below the clamp and a little drop will come out onto your strip. It should be white. And that means that your dialyzer is clear. Once your dialyzer is clear, you're going to double check your dialyzer with your second teammate as well as your patient. Once that is complete and you make sure you have the right dialyzer with the right patient, you can clamp your saline line with the white clamp provided as well as use a hemostat under your saline clamp. You're going to unclamp your heparin, bring your lines over to your patient, connect your venous, And your arterial. The order of this connection is irrelevant. Unclamp both the needle line and the patient line on both sides, venous and arterial. Lower your blood pump to 200. You'll start your blood pump and hit start treatment and confirm. At that point, a blood pressure will go off, it will take your blood pressure, and dialysis has been initiated. That's patient on.